Hi guys, Chef Kevin Belton here. Hope you're having a fantastic day. And I tell you what, if you're not, you're about to now because we're gonna make some garlic shrimp. Now this isn't just gonna be garlic shrimp, this is gonna be garlic shrimp. That's right. Look, let's go ahead and get our fire up. I just got the pan on medium. Just have it heating up, okay? Now, my shrimp, I've peeled them and deveined them. But you notice they're also fairly dry. Basically, once I got them peeled and deveined, I took paper towels, and dried them because I want them dry because what we're gonna do we're gonna toss them with some seasoning what I have here uh, a little white pepper now you could use cayenne but I always keep white pepper uh, paprika and a little bit of flour okay so we're gonna toss this in our shrimp and you can use salt and pepper but I'm gonna use a little bit of our Creole seasoning to do this with so let's just go ahead and get our shrimp Coated with that, let's go ahead and get a little bit of Creole seasoning in here. Now, let's go ahead and turn the fire up a little more, all right? Now, we wanna go ahead and, and kinda of toss your shrimp around just to kinda of get evenly coated, okay? Just so that season gets everywhere. And like I said, you can use a little regular just salt and pepper, all right? But you see, it's important for the shrimp to be dry so that this flour can adhere, because this is gonna make just a tiny, ever so slight bit of gravy, okay? Let me just make sure I wash my hands after touching those raw shrimp. Now, in our skillet, if, if Mama can get a picture, I don't know if you all can see all that garlic sitting right there. Yeah, that's going into the pan, okay? So, we have the pan heating up. We're gonna get in some butter. Now, I have, yeah, we're going to put in about six tablespoons of butter. All right. Let's get in a little olive oil. And now let's go ahead and get this fire up. Now, you know, shrimp don't take long to cook. All right. They don't take a lot of time to cook. And especially with a nice size shrimp, like you're going to see when we cook these, they're going to be big enough to where we can flip them over, where we can see them starting to cook turn them over, cook them on the other side. We'll hit them with some lemon juice and they're gonna be done. But I like to throw a little butter in at the end that you're gonna see. Now, as you see, this is heating up. We wanna get our pan hot, but we don't want our butter to burn. The other nice thing with this garlic, we wanna saute this garlic just long enough, maybe 30 seconds before we put our shrimp in. We don't want the garlic to brown off because sometimes when garlic browns, it gets really hard and we don't want little hard chunky pieces of garlic in this okay so as you can see our butter is just about melted let's go ahead and get our garlic in and i want to make sure i get all of this garlic oh, that smells good. this is something <laughs> i don't know if you all could hear that monica goes oh that smells so good yeah both of us really 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 love garlic and you see I mean, I have this on a high fire now, but you notice it's not gonna start browning off. Basically, by having this butter and this oil and on the heat, it's gonna release the flavor of that garlic. Now, you know, there's some dishes where you see me put in garlic and I slice it. Remember, when garlic is sliced, it's a delicate flavor. If it's chopped or crushed, it has a stronger flavor. And that's what we want here. Not that it's gonna be a strong flavor, but it's not, we want that garlic flavor, okay? Now, if you want to slice it, you could try this sliced, and that's fine. So let's go ahead and get our shrimp in. Now, one of the things about our shrimp, we want a single layer of shrimp. So I'm gonna take our shrimp, start putting them in. I, you know, I don't have to do them by hand, but I want to make sure that they're sitting flat, that they're not stacked on top of each other, Oh, look at these guys. These guys are gonna be really in that, in that garlic. So just make sure that they're able to lay flat, okay? Now, this is about, oh, I forgot what size shrimp I have. I wanna say this is a, about a 30 count shrimp, 24 to 30 count. That means when you see those numbers, that means how many shrimp are in the pound, okay? All right, so if you see something like a 40 to 50 
or 50 to 60 or 70 count, 70 counts, those are small and those are great for something like soups, okay? And I think we can fit these last two in here. You know, I know I shouldn't overcrowd the pan, but we have the fire pie. We can also stir those around a bit. Let me just rinse off the hands again, gang. I tell you what, this is definitely one of those dishes where the smell, the smells are incredible, okay? Now, I'm just going to move them around a little bit because I did put a lot in the pan, but you know what happens? Hey, I don't want to miss any of these shrimp. I don't want to leave them all out. You know, it's like, I don't want to break up a family. Let's keep them all together, all right? But you're going to start to see what I'm saying, how shrimp don't take long to cook, all right? And what's nice with this, this is one of those dishes where we can serve it just like it is. And you know, I like salsa. I don't know if you all are fans of like savory and sweet, but we could make a little mango salsa. We could do, I don't know, I have something with this, something like with a little pineapple, just to give it that little touch of sweetness. I'm getting the eye from Monica. Y'all know how she gives me that eye. That's why when you see me grin, so it's like, a, she's like, or she's either. So that's how I know. So I didn't get the, I got the, hmm, like that's a good possibility, all right? So look at our shrimp, gang. Our shrimp are starting, see how they're starting to, turn, to change colors? So here, Let's just take our time, flip them over. Now you notice I'm starting to flip the ones that we kind of put in first, okay? All we're gonna do is go around, get those flipped over. All right, and it takes a little time, but you know, it, it, it's really worth it because that way you don't get some of your shrimp overcooked, some of them not cooked, because if you just threw them all in, some would get cooked and some wouldn't. So by the time those that didn't get cooked cook, they'll be overcooked. How's that for cooking? Oh man, that was a lot of cooking there. All right. You guys can see the color change that we were talking about. And you notice they only take, shrimp only take a couple of minutes on each side, especially now that the pan is hot, okay? Now let's move those some of those that were in the middle, oh, come on, baby, turn back over. Some of these that were in the middle, I'm gonna push to the sides and bring some of those that were on the outside toward the middle, just to make sure everybody gets all nice in there and gets cooked evenly, okay? All right, now you notice that little bit of flour doesn't make, it's not like making a gravy, it's not like putting a batter on the shrimp, but it does give a little light type coating to that. And what we're gonna finish this off with, because these are just about done, some fresh lemon juice. Um, if you hear, ever hear of creaming out, you know, sometimes when chefs get to finish a dish, they talk about creaming out. They put a little more butter in when you take it off the fire and you add butter. And as that butter melts, that creams it out, that gives things a shine. So if you want, once you turn the fire off, if you want to add a little more butter to cream it out, yeah, you can do that, that's fine. But I tell you what, these are just about done. These are, these are just about done. Oh, let's turn the fire off, okay? So our fire's off. Now let's hit it with a little lemon juice. You know, it depends on how much lemon juice you want. I just want to juice a half a lemon. Let's get a little parsley and green onion in here. Okay, now we can just give this a little flip to get everything coated and tossed. Oh, look how pretty that looks. Now, let me show you how I'm gonna serve this. Over here, I have some rice. And I'm just going to serve this right on top of our rice, okay? And especially with some of this, this, this nice, nice lemony butter sauce to go on top. 
Oh, look at that. Here, let's get a little bit of, little bit of this sauce, just to spoon right over the top. Okay. So there we go. Oh, doesn't that look pretty? So now, if you want, you can put a little more parsley and green onion over the top. All right. But here, this is what I was talking about. If you want to saute a little, maybe pineapple or a little mango. Grilled you know? pineapple. Uh, gr yeah, Monty. Grilled pineapple. What about some grilled peaches? Would you like grilled peaches? No. No? All right. No grilled peaches, gang. But grilled pineapple. How about that? All right. So this recipe for those garlic lovers... You're really going to love this because it really is good. So I want you to try this. You know, I always appreciate it when you come hang out with me and cook with me. I, I thank you so much for doing that. Keep washing those hands. Keep masking up. Keep yourself safe. All right. Have yourself a fantastic afternoon. For WWL TV, I am Chef Kevin Belton, and we will see you soon.